Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome back to Mars Horizon. So, we are building the Sputnik. That should be uh, due next month. Uh, got funding review in three months, and we're going to build that, build a rocket, and we're, then we're going to do the artificial satellite thing. So, we might as well just go ahead and uh, advance till next month. Here we go. Lunar orbit research completed. So, achieving lunar orbit is a challenging endeavor for any space agency, requiring a, pay pay a payload cap I can't do English. A payload capable of not only reaching the moon, but also the careful course corrections to maintain orbit around it. So, I've done that one because I'm hoping to get some uh, extra missions done, and I think that was one of the ones that I've got to do. Now, Sputnik should be built now. Yes, here it is. If you remember I said, this was like a radio transmitter inside a giant metal ball. Right. Our engineers were able to optimize the payload instrumentation, resulting in an increase to system stability. Right. So we're going to design our vehicle next. Here we go. So now we need to build a vehicle for this mission. So let's do this. Right. So we're going to do... Sputnik is going to be on it. So let's do let's do all the bits. Design new. Okay, to launch this mission, I need a, ve a vehicle capable of carrying the payload to its destination. A vehicle is made. Yes, we know that. So let's do upper stage first. Right now, have I got a bit required to do this? Here you'll find all the bits. Yes. Um, I don't know how big the payload is, but we've got this big, pretty big monster bit here. Now. Hopefully, this is going to be big enough to carry this. So, I'm going to select that. Then, booster. We should, I think we, we looked at this last time, didn't we? And I think we decided everything was going to be good. Right, so I think it's repeating that tutorial. We've already seen that bit. So, we'll just skip that. I can check whether your selected upper is valid. Uh, it seems to be. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, and then I can confirm it at the bottom. This is going to take four months to build. Nice. 170 grand. Let us get that done. Um, 50% reliability. It's not that, not that good, is it? The only thing we're not done, we didn't change the name, did we? I don't know if maybe we can't change the name, but anyway, that's going to be done in four months. Right. So... Goody, goody, goody. We're going to be uh, competing against the rest of them. Now, it looks like we're going to be building ours in four months. The rest of these dweebs, uh, eight months, 11 months, nine months. So hopefully we are going to be the first to do this. And we've got two months for that. Uh, we need to do new research because we've got the lunar orbit. Now, let us come out of this for a second. Let's look at active missions. So that's the one we've got at the moment. I want to see what the other missions. So we've got we've got this one, but we can't do this because we can only do one mission at a time. So let us see if we can do more than one mission at a time. I think we need this HQ control. So what do I want to do? If we can go for research, that will give me more science yield. That would allow me vigorous engine tests. More reliable launches. Yes, please. Let's have that. Okay, there's nothing else I can really do now. So let's uh, advance. And advance. Okay, funding review. Your agency performance. So, pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. So we were on 79k a month and now we're on 105. Thank you very much. What's next? Your first milestone challenge is now available. These are optional goals for your agency that involve completing certain milestones. To view them, I need to select Earth and access the... Okay, let's have a little look then. What's, what's the milestone? Your current milestone challenge can be found here along with the required objective. The time remaining for the current challenge can be seen on its tooltip. A new milestone challenge will become available when you complete or fail. So, what's the milestone then? Um, this one, complete three milestone missions. So if I do three missions, I get 1,000k, and it'll expire in 180 months. Well, I think that's going to be something that's going to be good on the back burner, because we're, we're already on the way to doing this thing. 
Uh, we're researching that thing. That's going to be done soon. Zoidzilla. <laughs> Zoidzilla. Zavoidzilla is complete in two months. Right, rocket test pad research completed. So this is going to let me do more rigor rigorous vehicle. Now, do we have to build this, though? I reckon we do, you know. I reckon we need to build this sucker, which is this one. 100k. This is going to let me do further and more rigorous tests. Now, where are we going to put it? That's going to give me 1% reliability to the launches. Um, for stick it over there, that's all negative. That's all negative. Now, maybe it's Maybe it's a good idea to put it there. It's going to have to take that terrain down, but... Now, this, this is awkward, because if I put it on both of them, I'm getting reliability and build costs, but I have to put it either there or there. And if I put it there, I can't put anything in that bit. Oh, that's annoying. We could put it... nice. No, we literally can't squeeze anything else in that gap, I don't think. Um, let's do it there. I'm going to risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. Right. Let's come out of this. Right, so we're building the vehicle still. That's done in a month. Uh, let's get some more research. Let's do mission control. I want to do extra missions. Come on. Are we researching that or not? Now, that's interesting. Why can I not research this? Is it a higher tier, maybe? Is it because it's this is era one and that's era two? Right, to reach a new era, complete at least one research from that era on any research. But we have done. We've done that. Oh, do I have to do everything, maybe? Okay, we need two, I think, to unlock that. So... Do I want to go for research the rocket pad or the research, the, the research lab or this? So this unlocks mission training payload reliability. And that gives me bigger scientific yields. Uh, let's go for the clean room. I think that'll be good to get. Okay. And next month. Right, vehicle should be done now. Here we go. We're going to launch our satellite. Zavodzilla. Right, next launch prep. And we're going to do our launch date now. Ooh. We did have that date still, though, didn't we? That improved the conditions. We want to try and beat these, though, because, look. They're all launching in... Uh, USA and Japan are launching in June. ESA are launching in July. We, we need to launch before. Which is going to be the better... The better date? <laughs> these are both as bad as each other. What will happen if I build it, though? And this is um, a failure. I'm, I'm going for April. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Really hope this works. We have got that Russian trait, hopefully, that means we get a bit of a bonus. So I'm just hoping this is going to work. Right, let's go for it. And we've done the research for that bit as well. But first, we need to try and launch the artificial satellite. Oh boy. Right, so let's launch mission. I'm hoping that trait we've got. I'm sure it said it improved the dates on this. Well, the, the conditions. Look at this. <laughs> it's terrible. It's raining. Oh, this, is, this isn't good. This isn't good. Uh, right, so we need to try and launch this. Weather conditions. Ooh. Uh, I'm going for it. Here we go. Right, fingers crossed. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's got ice on it. Right, it's taking off. It's a bigger rocket, this, though. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It seems to be going up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> wow, 99% efficiency. Oh, I think it's safe to say... That was pretty good. 
So we've got a lawn, we've got a booster bonus, and we've got upper stage bonus. Nice. And we've got a we've got a steam trophy as well, screw loose. And here's my satellite. Now, from what I remember playing the demo of this, we now get to do some um little mini games to try and do a successful launch. So we need to collect two of them and two of them. So, join mission tasks, you need to issue commands to the payload, which is the Sputnik satellite, in order to achieve the task objective. Now, the current task objective is shown here, which is up here. So, I need two of that and two of that. Um, resources are generated via payload commands. Each command requires a specific input in order to generate an output. So, what I think this means is there is signal tasks and there's data tasks now we've got a bank of five energy now if we input one energy into signal return test we get out of that one unit of this signal uh, return test from here and if we import one into the data part we get a data collection part so we need to get two of these and two of these so how the heck are we going to do this and we've only got a limited number of commands per turn. So we've got two commands. So this is the planning phase. Uh, I can use undo and reselect commands as I wish. Try different combos to generate resources. When I'm happy with the commands, select confirm to continue. Right, and each command will be done by the payload in the order they were selected. Um, so we don't need to do recharge power at the moment because we're on full power. So we need to do these other two things. Now, the thing is, this is all going to be sequential. So for instance, if I do signal return test, I'm going to get a, a unit of signal. And then the unit of signal, I can then use and get uh, a data unit back. Whereas I've only got two, t I've only, have I got, I've got four turns. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of doing this one and getting that back and then using that one to get three back. So if we do that and then we do that, that means I should get three data, which means I'll have enough to pass that mission. So let's confirm and see if this is going to work. So we've inputted that. We should get hopefully get a bit of signal from that. We did. Good. And then we're going to use the signal and the power, and we should get three units of data back. Success. Nice. So now I've got three units of data. So we've got that objective. Now, the other objective is to get two units of signal data. Now, we've got two ways of doing this now. So... We could use two units of energy and get the two for that. But there is a 50% bonus if we can get three. Now, we've already got three. So I'm thinking of doing this one. If we're successful in this one, we're going to get um, three back. Okay, what does it say here? A turn is completed each time all your selected commands have been attempted. Yeah, we've done that. And I can recharge. I can recharge power as well. Um, yeah, we don't need to do that just at the moment. So we're going to do that one, and that's going to give me three of that and that. And then we need to use. Ooh, now. I'm. I, I need more data now. If I use that one, I'm going to have no energy left for the next turn. But it means we can plan it out. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to have to generate power next turn. All right, so here we go. Hopefully, we are going to get our status. Uh, well, signal, sorry. We did. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme all of that. Right, now we... Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Now, I need more data now. I have got no uh, energy left now, though. Oh, do we get any... Wait a minute. Do we do that? Oh, we've done it. I thought we were going to be able to use the other two turns. Right, well, we've done the first... Uh, first milestone's been done, then. They seem happy. 
Oh, unlocking loads of trophies. With your artificial satellites in orbit, you've achieved a major milestone for your agency and opened the door to launching more complex payloads, perhaps even those that could carry humans to space. For such formidable challenges, it's crucial your mission staff receive the right training. This can be a great benefit to a mission. Increasing key stats, uh, such as... What is that? Is that... Um, engineering, maybe? And research for the other one. Constructing the appropriate buildings. Well, that's what we're doing. We are going to build a clean room. and Hopefully that's going to improve our uh, stuff and the um, researching. Right. Let's uh, go to this now. So I've done that one. I need to next build that rocket test pad, which that is what we're actually doing next, isn't it? We've got one more month to do that and build a mission control. So we're already on the way to do that. Everyone else is not launching the satellites just yet. So let me just see if there's, if there's anything I can do that's going to do these things, because I want to do this one. We've developed a new guidance system that requires testing on a base. Do you know what? We could do this. We need a basic sounding rocket, don't we? Let's just build one. Two months time to build. We can build... We can build that easy peasy. So we can we can build that and carry on doing the research. And by the time we've built the new ground control building, we are going to be golden. So we're already building this. I don't think there's anything new for me to build. Oh, wait a minute. There's the spacecraft assembly thing here, isn't there? This is going to unlock mission training. Now, we've already got that building. Oh, look at this. We can fit stuff in here. That is wide enough. I didn't think it was. So that's going to be good. That's going to give me payload bonus, vehicle building cost reduction, and vehicle build time. That is going to be the perfect place to put that. That's almost like I planned that, and I wish I had. Let's stick that in there. So you can build more than one thing at a time, which I think is really good. Um, if it restricted me to building one thing at a time, that would be quite prohibitive. But now we can go on to research and mission control. So we're going to research that next. And that is going to be something that's going to be done. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll build the sounding rocket. I'll show you that one. And then we'll get ground control done in the next episode. So let's do this. Now, what's this? Following your agency launching the first artificial satellite, several newspapers have claimed the satellite represents a global security threat, Brett. The, uh, they've requested my agency releases full specs of my Sputnik payload. Um, my advisors believe agreeing to the request will improve your reputation. And the other agencies, well, with the other agencies, although some may gain signs from it. Oh, this is a tough choice. So, they'll be happy with me, but they're going to get science bonus. Well, let's just share it. Yeah, I, I don't know if I should have done that or not, but we've just shared the secrets of my Sputnik. Right, my uh, rocket test pad is now complete, and this allows me further and more rigorous vehicle engine tests, re resulting in more reliable launches. Goody, goody, goody. Now, mission control. With a training option now available, it's time to focus on another aspect of growing your agency, building a mission control. That is what we are aiming to do. So mission control unlocks an additional mission slot so that means i can have more than one mission at a time which is as it says here a great way to increase your science and support income note you may need to research another training building first it's recommended to unlock all of the things eventually now where's my rocket my rocket is due next month so i think my building is due when is my building due we've researched oh we're researching Mission control. Let's just do the sounding rocket and then we'll get building that. Right, mission control is responsible for the critical phase, so we should be able to build that now. But more importantly, it's time to do another rocket. I do love these. So this is Tosca and we are going to launch Tosca into orbit, hopefully. Um, training is a crucial part of the mission plan and allows your staff and crew to focus on an aspect of the mission. I think I just want to launch this because this is just 
a standard uh, rocket, isn't it? I don't think we need to do... Do we need to do training? I think it wants me to do... Okay, it says this is an uncrewed mission, so it doesn't need anyone to do it, but it wants me to do training. What training can we do? Available training can be selected in here. Each training option will focus on a specific aspect of the mission. For example, payload. So do we collect that? Launch reliability training. Okay, now we can choose the date. We'll do this as soon as possible, I think. Your current training and its bonus can be viewed here. The bonus is determined by number of months between the launch dates. So, yeah, if we do it further along, it gets more reliable. But I'm just going to go for as soon as possible. Because I think this is quite a simple uh, mission. This is just launching a rocket. Now, research. So, we've got building control. Vehicles. I don't know what other missions we are going to need to do. So, I don't know if I should research any of these or not. It might be good to get animals in space. Or payload. Let's go for the animals in space. Let's get that researched. And now we can build a new thing, which is going to be the HQ. Well, mission control. So we want to build this. And where do I want to put it? So we want to put it somewhere that's going to have as much bonuses as possible. And it seems to be against these two is going to be the best. So this is giving me... 1% reliability and building cost reduction. So I think we're going to put it over here. Yeah, let's stick that there. Oh no. We need to clear two obstructions and place it, which is more money than we've got. Right. That is so expensive. I think we might have to wait a month. <laughs> we're going to have to wait a month until we can afford this. Right, let's launch this next uh, satellite. Well, it's a rocket, isn't it, the next one? Spacecraft assembly facility is complete. And that unlocks more training. Good. More importantly, it's another rocket. Let's hopefully see if this is going to be good. Right. Here we go. Launching. This is a supplemental mission as well, so... The weather looks pretty decent. Good conditions, I think. I think this is going to be a good one. Well, the weather's good anyway. Here we go. Come on, baby. Off we go. And we are up. And off we go. Oh, let's see. Let's see how we've done. Oh, this is a this is a pretty low on system damage. That's not very good. Sounding rocket's got more experience though. Mission complete though, at least, but not very good. And we didn't really get to uh <laughs> We didn't get to build our mission control, which is what I'm most upset about, so. We've got a, a number of sub things to do now. Um, request missions often have special modifiers to make them more challenging. Consider these carefully before choosing which, before choosing which mission request to accept. So we've got a couple on here now. We've got ion sphere measurements. Um, we've also got solar wind monitoring. So I don't know which to go for next. But I think I'm going to see if I can build this mission control thing because that's what we want. We need that's 250. So if we put it there still, 325. Okay, we can afford that now and then do more missions. And that is all we're going to do for now. So we managed to launch two rockets, but we need to think about what we're going to do next to my next mission. So I do have a, a few more missions to do. I've got a, the next milestone is the animals in space, which is. Coincidentally, the one we're actually going towards researching. It's these things I'm curious about, though. Um, that is a really good bunch of cash. 
So that's a hard one. That's a lucrative one. So yeah, I think I might go where the money's at for the next one. Anyway, that's it for now. This has been Mars Horizon. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor before you go. If you can, uh, if you're not already subscribed, click at the bottom right where it says uh, subscribe and drop me a sub. And also, if you can click the um, the bell notification so that you know when I've got a new video out. So thank you very much for everyone that's been uh, commenting and viewing the videos lately. It helps out a lot. And I will see you in the next video.